Welcome to the Freedom Property Podcast, the modern real estate brand empowering excellence. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back, Freedom Property Podcast Show. Got a good guest in the house today. This is Cooper McCormack, one of our newest, youngest agents, uh, future superstar. Cooper, what's going on, mate? Nothing much, mate. How you doing? Good, matey. Good. I'm glad you're, you're here with us. So, yeah, what's happening, mate? Nothing what's happening much, in your world? No, not too much. Got um, my first property going to auction tonight, so wow. it's pretty exciting, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, nice property, Waterville Drive, Thornlands. Yeah, it's going to be a cracker. Yeah, pretty nervous, but hopefully get it done. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's give um, the audience a bit of context about <clears throat> you, Coop. So um, how old are you, mate? Uh, I've just recently turned 21. 21. Uh, about last week, so yeah. Lovely, cool. And um, how long have you been with us now? Um, well, I came in with was Alex. Uh, probably about four, eight months ago now. Yeah. Halfway through last year. And yeah, I was just working for him for about six months. Probably. And what were you doing for was there at the time? I was his buyer manager. Okay. So, um, I mean, t- 10 months ago, I didn't even know the word real estate. And then he, um, I was in his football team. So we got yep. along real well. And he just kind of threw the question out there. He's like, do you want to come work for me? And I, at That's first it. I was like, nah, bro, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. And then um, he convinced me and I came in yep. uh, probably one day a week and then yeah, I just kind of fell in love with it. I fell in love with the office, the environment Seriously. that you created, and all the boys there are just so good. Yeah, and um, you know, the and the ladies, and the ladies. Yeah, yeah. At the time, it was uh, just in the office. It was uh, Tonks, uh, Morgan, and Lukey behind me as well. So yeah. no, it was real good, and they were all so keen to help. And I just kind of became yeah. a sponge. You know, yeah, you have, that's have it. So man. much to learn from everyone. So definitely, yeah. I've said it before on the show, but we've got a pretty. St- Deadly soccer team. Here, right? Oh, for sure. I keep putting for the sure. call out. If anybody wants to challenge us to a six-a-side game, you know, it's, Let's it's it. on. Let's, Let's go. Up. I'm keen. I haven't strapped the boots on for a while. So, Ex, ex-doggies uh, captain here. Or? <laughs> oh, that's it. But, um, no, I think that, um, yeah, like you're a very likable young man. I think you're going to do really well Thank in you. real estate. Um, so, you obviously came in for a day a week with Waza, mm. with Alex Warrillow, um, yeah. very good agent that we've got here at Freedom. Um, you were doing a, a day a week with him doing the buy management. Is that what yeah. you were doing? Yeah, kind of. Um, it started off as that, um, but basically it wasn't kind of your traditional just come in as a buy manager on its on its soul by itself. Yep. He kind of was just taking me to everything. It was basically okay. just joined to the hit by him. I ghosted him for about six yep. months and he was taking me to listing presses nice. and appraisals and everything, just going to sign contracts. But my original role was obviously you had to you know manage his buyers. But yep. then when I was done with that, I got into the prospecting and you know, he taught me how to door knock, pretty much everything I know right awesome. now. Yeah, so, brilliant. So, um, and then they came to a point, you're like, all right, I'm just going to get straight into sales. Yeah, it was it was pretty scary because at the time I still wasn't full-time working for him at all. I was still yeah. probably two, three days a week. And um, he just came to the point where, you know, I had a chat with you and I had a chat with Alex and they were like, just do it, bro. Just rip the band-aid Seriously, off, Seriously, just sink or swim. And um, it, was, it was probably one of the better times to get into the market, obviously how crazy it is right now. So that definitely helped, but... Yeah, it was pretty scary at the start. So, oh, that's it. You know, you just right now we are in a very active market where if you can get listings, you know, they're going to sell, you know. So, and that's what you just need to stay focused on. You don't even need to overcomplicate it for yourself right now. You just got to get out there, find people that want to sell. And then, you know, someone like myself or one of the other, um, you know, more qualified agents here can go with you to the listing presentation. We can get the listings together and you're on the way, you know. So, um, you've been with us as a, as an actual agent since well january january yeah. the first uh, yeah i think late december i kind of yeah decided to do it and then january is just when trying to get the wheel turning yeah and what are we in now like march are we march yeah yeah early march yeah i don't even know the date not even early march yeah. halfway through march yeah, yeah well, there you go <laughs> so you're, you're like 12 weeks into your sales career yeah, yeah all right so this is um this is a pretty cool podcast because you know we're going to get you at the start and then yeah, we're going to get yeah. you as you go down the track and we're going to see how much you grow so that's, that's it's annoying. a pretty cool you know because you can see everything that's going to happen with your career over the years so yeah. you've listed how many homes in in the space of 12 weeks um right now i've got i've got six all up six um, listings in 12 weeks yeah <laughs> that's amazing no thank you i'm um, not amazing. all of them have sold obviously yeah um but yeah three sold right now and uh probably one of my biggest ones going to auction tonight which is pretty exciting but yeah yeah hopefully it can 
yeah, get some more around that one. So. It's going to be a great sale if it happens tonight. But even if it doesn't happen tonight, it will happen, mm. you know. So it's a great property. It's in a great location. And, yeah, you're doing all the right things. The marketing looks awesome. Oh, so it's you. going to happen, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, tell us, you know, like, uh, yeah, there's other young people out there right now watching this and they're like thinking about maybe doing real estate. Yeah. You know, they're thinking about like, is this going to be the right thing for me? Like, what would your piece of advice be to them? Oh, just do it. You know, <laughs> seriously, it's worth it. But I mean, I was obviously lucky enough to be backed by all of you boys and the ladies in here as well. Like yeah. the environment has just helped so much. You hear about all these people that feel like they're kind of stuck in a role. And um, I was lucky enough to, you know, be backed by people when I was thrown the deep end. And yeah. I'm not going to lie, it, was, it wasn't easy by any means. You know, you do have the early mornings, the late nights and a lot of door knocking, cold calls, rejection. You get all of it. But yeah. if you can get past that and just... You're yeah. used to a fair bit of rejection, though, I would oh, thought, sure. especially from the ladies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, um, sure. you know, it's, it is. It's it's about just keeping moving with the times, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, just keep going, keep going, keep going. Just, just you yeah, know, seriously. like, if you get one, fantastic, but just keep working hard. Yeah. Just keep going yeah, at it. Just keep improving, you know? Yeah. And you've just got, you know, people like yourself and all the established agents above you just to, you know, keep you, keep you motivated. Yeah. Like you think I get a listing, I'm like, oh yeah, but you know, you get, you're out here listening seven a week and it's, it's just a kick up the ass to keep going and it's, yeah. Yeah. You just got to stay motivated, bro. You 100%. just got to stay motivated. So where is your success coming from at the moment? So you're a brand new agent into the business, you know, yeah. like what are you doing every day? Um, Door knocking was huge for me. Yeah. hundred percent. Just getting in front of people's faces and, you know, building relationships. Cause I feel like when you're in person, you can kind of mm. read someone's energy and, Definitely. you know, just, I feel like it's better than just over the phone yeah. and kind of talking over each other, but. You're not randomly door knocking though. No, like no You're no. specifically, cause you know, the kind of houses that we've got buyers for right yeah, now. Yeah. hundred percent. I mean, that's, that's what it kind of started from. I was working for was as his buyer manager. So yeah. I could kind of see a demand where, you know, people wanted these, you know, big low set homes with side access and I, you know physically go out there and find them yeah um and that's just helped from being a buyer manager and you kind of you kind of know from inquiries and stuff like that exactly what people are looking for and yeah if it's out there and you know just go and knock yeah. on the door like i hate it when agents like knocking on doors and they're just like hello it's me you yeah. know like i'm just annoying you right now <laughs> yeah, you know? but like you are you're knocking on doors and saying hey i've got like 15 buyers for your house yeah, because sure. we've got this buy list in our yeah, office and, and, we, and we know them. exactly where our buyers are at and who we've got for these types of properties so when yeah. you're knocking on their door and saying you've got to buy it like it's it's yeah. real yeah you know, and you can show them that as well so you're not just going there and all talk you can be transparent mm -hmm. you say look i'll show you but yeah. yeah so you're at that point right now in your business where you're you're prospecting pretty hard right now 100 percent. that's what i got to focus on yeah you know i don't have a big enough name yet to just kind of leverage off my name yeah. i leverage you quite a bit so yeah you got it yeah you. but um yeah until i can get to the point where i'm a attraction agent you know they come yeah. to me but that won't be for a while i just got to get out there do the hard yards and just prospect like crazy yeah definitely so yeah just working working hard like how many phone calls a day do you say you'd make um oh not today because i'm pretty stressed about the auction but um <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a normal when I'm, I'm cold calling i try to hit you know 100 you know just to get it out there but that was probably at the start you know but then you just kind of yeah, caught up in a rut, but I should be doing more. Hundred percent, I should be doing more. Yeah, no, you do, you're doing, you're making some good numbers, bro. You just got to keep staying focused on that. You just got to keep picking up that phone, putting yeah, it down, pick it yeah, up again, seriously. put it down. And when you're not, you know, prospecting for new business, you're servicing the business that you've got. You know, so yeah. these buyers are, are contacting you on your listing so far. Mm -hmm. You know, like tell me what you're up to with them, with the buyers. Yeah, that you've currently got in your system. <clears throat> um, yeah, obviously because I had the experience of buyers, I feel like I've got that not nailed, you know, I haven't mastered anything yeah. by any means, but I feel like I can, you know, keep good record off my buyers and see exactly where they are, what they want. And I kind of, you know, from dealing with them for ages, I know, you know how yeah. to handle them, That's what it. they want to hear and stuff like that. And, you know, if I have a property, I'll, I'll send it to them, you know, I'm not just going to flick them something that they don't want because then they're just like, oh, he's just trying to yeah. you know, throw me something for the sake of it. So if I, if I pretty much know, because I don't have a huge database at the moment. I pretty yeah. much know all my buyers Brilliant. like almost personally and what they really want. So That's perfect. if I see something, I'll flick it through them. Definitely. And those buyers, they're, they're your future sellers. You know, yeah, like you're exactly. in here for the long game. You're going to service those buyers so well right now that one yeah. day they're going to be like, oh, that's that Cooper guy that helped us when we were buying a house. We're going to list with him. Oh, yeah, that's the plan. Hey, That's, that's what it. you said from the start. You know, you know, it was just to get in there and sell the house once and never speak to him again. That no. should be a client for life. You know? Relationship game, bro. That's what yeah. we're playing. Yeah, for yeah sure. the long game. So, yeah, and <clears throat> I started at a very similar age to you. I was yeah. 18 and, um, you know, and I was in real estate and it's very, very hard at the start to get the wheel turning because yeah, people sure. are like, well, you're a young guy, you yeah. know, like, 
what do you know? You yeah, know? Like 100%. I've got these people that are around me that have sold way more property than you, been doing it for way longer than yeah, you. Seriously. They're way more experienced than you. But what can you bring to the party? Yeah, well, you kind of just have to, I mean, obviously it's probably the first thing that comes to mind. He's young, what can he do? But you have to, you know, just turn it and say, I'm, I'm actually an advantage. You know, these people that you're speaking to, um, you know, you, you probably talk to them and then they're going to, you're going to deal with their team, not per se them. And yeah. I don't have a team right now. And, you know, I'm young and I'm hungry. I'm going to yeah. work harder for you than anyone that can walk through that front door. Yeah. That's, and that's that's a personal promise that I can guarantee people because yeah. I know I will. I believe that when um, you say that, yeah. And yeah, I mean, you just got to prove that being young isn't always, you know, necessarily a disadvantage. It could be an advantage. Yeah. Definitely. And another thing for, for young people is, um, you know, their their objection with you is that maybe you're not as educated as what yeah, you could sure. be. So you have to fast track that, you know, you yeah. need to be reading contracts, you need to be reading yeah, these form sure. sixes, you need to know the ins and outs of real estate, you need to be like a sponge with real estate, yeah. like learn as much as you possibly can, because 100%. the more knowledge that you have when you're standing in front of a buyer or mm. a seller, you know, you've got the knowledge on the areas that you're selling yeah. in, because you were pretty much born there, weren't you? Yeah. You know, yeah, you you've been redlands for oh my whole life yeah i grew yeah. up in thornlands which is where i like to do most of my stuff yeah um for 20 years so yeah I, so you yeah. can you can push the area 100%. you can push the things you know you know so but the way you'll improve is um, really understanding what real estate is actually about like you just got to keep hungry keep energy yeah, keep that energy high keep learning and doing the right things so yeah tell us more about what's been going on anything fun that you want to bring up um anything fun oh it's hard i normally yeah fun. i think everything i do is fun yeah. you know i like appraisals because yeah. you go over and you just get along with them yeah you know, i always have funny stories from that you go and you meet them and i mean every person's just so different and so fascinating like i was um speaking with an older seller the other day and we weren't even speaking real estate i was just sat in his lounge room and he was from egypt his wife was from germany i got the whole wow. way down and it's just fascinating yeah. yeah you don't always have to just go in and become a you know a salesperson just go in there and have a chat to him and that's what i like the most oh that's it you're dealing with so many different types of people because yeah. yeah and you're gonna learn so much stuff you know yeah, if you yeah. ask the right that's questions made me feel so naive like i don't know anything about you know the world as a whole and these guys are just dropping knowledge on me and it was awesome yeah it was fun. that's brilliant so um, let's finish this podcast off and figure out what what your goals are. Like, what do you want to achieve in real estate? Let's, and no, don't think too far ahead. Let's just think about this year, all right? Okay, yeah. So and we're not talking about how much money you want to make or any <laughs> yeah. stuff like that. What I want to know is, like, what like what do you really want to achieve this year? Um, oh, it's hard. I mean, it's. Oh, I think the main goal for myself would be um, – just to kind of have a you know a, an area where when people think there they think of me. Yep, nice. that, that that would probably be my main goal. When they think of Thornlands, they go, "Oh, that Cooper kid's been doing a lot." And yeah, hopefully, I mean, I'll hopefully be speaking to all of them by then in a year's time. You'd hope yeah. so, but um, but yeah, that's probably my main goal for a year. Definitely, that's a perfect goal for you right now. Is to yeah, really just get to know as many people that own homes in a location. Yeah. The nice thing for you is that you know where your clients live. Yeah. Their, gr their house is cemented to the <laughs> yeah. ground. They couldn't have made it any easier for you. You know, you just yeah, go and sure. knock on their doors or ring them and say hello and just yeah. get to know these people, you know. Like don't go in as a salesperson, you know, because just go in as a person. Oh, 100%. You know? And they probably have already seen me. Like because I'm literally doing it where I grew up and since I was, what, five, they probably see me skating past, like, yeah. riding around and stuff you like that. You know that area so. like the back of your hand, so yeah, sure. you need to push that. Yeah. You know, so it's awesome having you in. I think that um, – young people if they're watching this think about getting to real estate maybe just started and they're yeah. you know they might even reach out to you so yeah <laughs> keep offering that advice so yeah thanks for coming in mate thanks bro appreciate it Lovely. cheers cheers guys peace